We have prayed together. We have listened together. We have studied together. And now we come to the highest form of prayer, which is the Eucharist, the Holy Mass. Because at Mass, it is not just men and women who pray. It is the Lord Jesus Himself. These days will be days of intense prayer. Prayer, as we know from the Catechism, is adoration, contrition, thanksgiving, and supplication. So we adore, we ask pardon, we thank the Lord, and we ask the Lord to help us. And then the question is asked, do you want all your prayers to be answered? And you're going to answer me, what a question. If you pray, of course you want your prayers to be answered. Why will you pray if God will not answer or if God does not exist? So back to the question, do you want all your prayers to be answered? And the answer is yes. How can we be sure that all our prayers will be answered? I will answer you in the wrong way first. Brothers and sisters, prayer is not about numbers. It is not about, it is not about 10 Hail Marys or 2,000 Hail Marys. Prayer is not about numbers. Prayer is not about language. It can be Latin. It can be English, Tagalog, or Pangasinan. Italian or Spanish, God knows all these languages. So do you want all your prayers to be answered? It is not dependent on numbers. It is not dependent on language. What does it depend on? When is prayer pleasing to the Lord so that it is answered by God immediately? And the answer is in the Gospel. If you want all your prayers to be answered, there are only two things that you must remember. Number one, when you pray, you must love much. Number two, when you pray, you must forgive much. Because if there is no love in your heart, your prayer will fall flat. If there is no forgiveness in your heart, your prayer will land on deaf ears. What did the woman do? What did Mary do that merited praise from the Lord? It was the generosity of love. It was the extravagance of love. You know how much she poured to the feet of the Lord so that the whole house was fragrant? Judas knew the computation. It was very expensive. But for Mary, nothing was expensive if you are in love. Sapagkat walang nagmamahal na kuripot. Kapag kuripot ka talaga hanggang sa buto, hindi ka talaga pwedeng magmahal. Sapagkat ang nagmamahal ay palaging bonggang-bongga, bigay na bigay, walang itinatago, kasi hindi siya natatakot na maubusan. Love is always extravagant. Maaaring sabihin niyo maluho ang magmahal. O maaari nating sabihin, magastos ang magmahal. Pero para sa isang nagmamahal, hindi gastos yon, Love yon. Para sa isang nagmamahal, hindi pera yon, Love yon. And when you love much, your prayers will be answered. That is why, during this Holy Week, as we pray the Stations of the Cross, as we pray extra rosaries, as we do our Visita Iglesia, I am encouraging you, my dear brothers and sisters, go and visit the hospital. Go and visit the orphans. Go and visit the poor children. Go and visit the depressed areas and bring food. Because those acts of charity will 
hasten the answer to your prayers. Second, when you pray, you must forgive much. Do you remember Peter who denied the Lord three times? And when Peter encountered the Lord again, what did the Lord say to Peter? Did the Lord say, are you sorry? No. Did the Lord say, you promised me you will not do that again? No. What did the Lord ask Peter? Do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? Because if you love much, I am going to forgive much. And if you forgive much, please forgive even more. And your prayers are answered. The sinful woman, or the Mary in the Gospel, or Saint Peter, all of these have been forgiven by the Lord and have loved much. So back to the question. Do you want all your prayers to be answered? Never mind the language. Never mind the numbers. There is nothing magic about the 14 stations of the cross. There is nothing magic about the five mysteries of the rosary. There is nothing magic about the nine day novena. What is important when you pray, you must love very much and you must forgive everybody. Believe me, your prayers will be answered.